How the hell are you guys doing? Welcome back to Rippin' Packs. It's Thursday. Throwback Thursday. And we're going back a whole whopping nine years. Back to 2012. I would have collected at that point. Actually, I would have collected at that time. I mean, that's bad grammar, I know that. But I would have collected at that time. And one of the things I would have bought is what I'm gonna open for you today. Now, I have opened it on the channel before in a blister box, a blister pack version, and a hobby pack version. But not of this version. What am I talking about? I'm talking about 2012 Bowman Value Pack. We got Bryce Harper and Garrett Cole as our cover boy. We got three car, three packs plus a bonus three more packs, and we're gonna open them next. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, we have traveled the depths of time and space to bring you these cards. What are they? The 2012 Bowman Value Pack. We have three packs of 10 cards, and three cards in the purple format. How did I get them? Well, this this website that I occasionally go to called uh, eBay Bay uh, went there, and I found them, and I purchased them from a person on there. It's a crazy technology these days. He was selling these, and I was able to get them from him, and he even shipped it to me. I didn't even have to drive to him. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways. We're gonna open this. We're gonna see what we get. Last time I did get the uh, Bryce Harper card that I was looking for. The Hobby Pack, I pulled a Jackie Bradley Chrome rookie first Bowman card. That was awesome. Even though he's not probably gonna be the Red Sox anymore, but still, it's a nice card to pull. And a Jock Peterson first Bowman card, uh, which is great. That said, click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. You know what? I've done these 99. This is episode 99. Tomorrow's episode 100. I've done a lot of these. So you know what? Click on like, subscribe, notification bell. You'll see me open up more stuff. Let's go to a thousand episodes. Let's do a million, upteenth trillion episodes. Let's do it. But all right now, let's just focus on this. 2012 Bowman value pack, ripping packs, three, two, one, let's go. Let's cut this right down the middle, make it easy for me. Not so much for you, but for me, that's all that matters because I'm the one opening it. Okay. Let's see our cards here. We have a little, okay, there's a giveaway there, so let's not look at that yet. Okay. So last time I opened them, there's doesn't look like there's any massive inserts in these. Uh, here we go, three packs, three cards. You'll see a little bit of the purple. I'm not giving anything away right there. I did pull a Marisnik purple uh, first moment, which is cool, but yeah. First moment again. So there we go, three packs, three cards. Let's just start ripping some packs. All right, let's do it. I'm ready, let's do it. Here we go, rip packs. I wanna pull a trout. That's kind of what I wanna pull now. Maybe it's a color variation, because they do have a blue, gold uh, variations, but there's nothing else in this from what I saw. There we go. Corey Hart, he wears his sunglasses at night. Ha! For the Brewers. Then we have Curtis Granderson for the Yankees. Had a nice uh, quality major league career. Then we have Paul Canerco for the White Sox. Again, another guy who had a great, pretty, pretty solid major league career. Tyler uh, Taylor White not Whiten, first Bowman card for the Mets pitcher. Safely say he's probably not a big deal now. But I have a card coming up, a couple special cards, so I'm gonna jump past those. We have, <laughs> what a great baseball name. First Bowman card pitcher for the Yankees, Rookie Davis. Crickets, but that's a cool name. First Bowman, so he's going into the first Bowman rookie pile, even though pretty safely say he didn't make it to the majors. We have J.R. Graham for the Atlanta Braves, another first Bowman. Then we have Delman Young for the Tigers, uh, wasted talent. C.J. Wilson for the Angels. And then we got a gold card, it is R.A. Dickey. First Bowman's there for R.A. Dickey for the Mets. 
And then the last card is a special card. It's Bowman's best of left-handed pitcher. Is that Sabathia? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Sabathia. CJ CC Sabathia. Didn't know that was uh, an insert. They were throwing in those at the time, but all right. So that's going in the uh, the insert pile. Okay, CC. I only got one Bowman crumb there, so not. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because it says I have two Bowman Chromes in every pack. Well, Tops, I just got one. So go back. Send me one right now. Yeah. Pack number two. We get ourselves the awesome and talented Brandon Bosch of the Tigers. We get to add him to my junk collection. Then we have Pedro Alvarez for the Pirates. Being, the guy was a masher when he played, and being a big time strikeout guy too. But Bowman Chrome, Tyler Austin, that's a nice hit. Third baseman, the uh, first Bowman Chrome, first Bowman card for him. He's had a nice little, uh, decent little career. Put him in the, the hit pile. Eddie Rosario for Bowman Chrome, not a first, but okay, we'll throw him in the insert pile, I guess. And then we have a gold of Tyler. Pastranaki, Pras Pastranicki for the rookie card for the Braves. I'll throw him in the rookie pile, but it's not a big deal. Then we have Dylan. God, these names, it's really hard to see these names. Dylan Howard for the Indians with the first Bowman card. Again, one of those guys I could safely say he's probably not in the major leagues. Never made it. Then we have Nathan. Freeman, first Bowman for the Padres. Then we have Steven Strasburg for the Nationals. Not his rookie card, he's actually about this is his third card, I believe. Then Alex Rodriguez, which I guess is gonna go in the hit pile because will he be in the Hall of Fame? I don't think so, but you know, stranger things have happened. And Brandon Phillips. B Dbat 12 or whatever his uh, Twitter handle was. He was a pretty good second baseman. Really liked watching this guy play. Just a scrapper with some pop. All right, we're moving on to pack number three of the value pack. So far, we've done balls. Yeah. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> Let me we'll do something better here. Let's hope. I mean, come on. You're ripping packs. It's fun. All right, Jason Mott, the former closer for the Cardinals. Cole Hamels, pitcher for, I don't know, where is he at now? I know he was with the Braves. I don't know if he's still there. Then we have Paul Goldschmidt, now of the Cardinals, then of the Diamondbacks. Then we have Brandon Brown, first moment card for the Mets. And I will pull the other cards back because it looks like we've got ourselves another Bowman's Best card. Well, We've got ourselves Chesler Cuthbert, first Bowman for the Royals. Never heard of the guy. Then we have Daniel Cor Corgino, first Bowman for the Reds. Again, never heard of this guy. We have Matt Garza, a former pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. And I played for, I think, the Twins and the Rays and all those teams. Then we have Jared Parker, rookie card for the A's, pitcher for them. And then our goal is going to be Ian Desmond for the Nationals, now of the Rockies. Uh, actually didn't play last season because of a lot of the political crap going on in the world. And Bowman Best again, we have Shelby Miller. Yeah. Hmm. Really exciting pack here. Shelby Miller for the Cardinals. We do have our three purples. What are we gonna get on these? I hope something decent at least, because yeah, that was not very fun. But what do we got? We have got ourselves whoop, Zach Walters, first Bowman purple for the Washington Nationals. Okay. And we've got Mario Yepes, first Bowman for the Mariners. 
And the last card of the pack is Danny Holtzen. First Bowman for the Mariners as well. Mariners, purple hot pack. Yeah, so that is 2012 Bowman uh, value pack. Um, the value obviously did not go to me because I don't think I pulled a card worth a dollar. <laughs> But that's the uh, the risks we take when we open this stuff, am I right? I mean, I, actually, let me just go through these again and see if there was anything that would even value a dollar. Uh, what did Garza end up there? What the hell? Um, well, I think maybe the Tyler Austin, maybe that was worth a dollar. Um, yeah, I think all... The best card in here was Tyler Austin Bowman Chrome. So, hey, it happens. We all know that's the way it is when you open packs. So, moving on. <laughs> Thank you for watching Ripping Packs. Uh, be sure to smash, yeah, screw it, smash that subscribe button. And you know what? You could smash that like button while you're at it. And you can just touch that notification bell. Don't need to get all, you know, mean with it and everything. Because what did it do to you? It didn't do nothing to you. It was just sitting there all along to say, hi, touch me, please. Said you want to smash it? Dude, don't be that guy. Anyway, thank you for watching Ripping Packs. I'll see you for episode 100, which is tomorrow, which is Friday. Tomorrow. Take care.